Hey everyone, welcome to the series that will help prepare you for the next generation NCLEX. This is on pharmacology. Alright, so here you can see the medication table. We have four medications and four blanks. So we will go through each medication at a time and this will be like real questions and I'll give you time to answer them as well. Uh, one thing to note is that the drug class can refer to the pharmacology class or the therapeutic class. For example, with metoprolol, the therapeutic class is antianguinal or antihypertensive, and the pharmacology class is beta blocker, so they can use either or. Alright, so your first medication, ropinirol, the dose is 16 milligrams oral once daily, and the drug class is what you'll be choosing and indicated for the management of Parkinson's disease. So I'll give you guys about 10 seconds to pick your answer here. Alrighty, if you need more time, please pause the video now. So the answer is dopamine agonist. So ropinirol stimulates the dopamine receptors in the brain to increase dopamine levels. As a result, um, tremor frequency and severity decreases and muscle rigidity is also decreased. Parkinson's is um, typically, p typically people with Parkinson's have low dopamine, low dopamine levels. So this medication by increasing the dopamine levels helps to combat and decrease some of those symptoms that are seen with Parkinson's. One potential common side effect of ropinirol is orthostatic hypotension and dizziness. A potential severe side effect is called sleep attacks, and this is where the person falls asleep abruptly. So as a nurse, make sure you caution um, like when driving until side effects are known. Alright, so the next medication, paroxetine. The dose is 20 milligrams oral, orally once daily. It is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, also known as an SSRI. And here we're filling in the indication. So I'm going to give you guys about 10 seconds again. Alrighty, you can pause the video if you'd like a little bit more time. So this is uh, medication, the indication is the treatment of depression. One severe side effect is serotonin syndrome and caution to avoid taking with MAOIs. This is a big thing on the NCLEX, knowing really not, mu not many meds are compatible with MAOIs, but knowing that SSRIs cannot be taken with MAOIs is important. All right, so this medication we will be selecting. We know that it is 75 milligrams oral once daily, we know that it is an antiplatelet agent and is indicated for the history of transient ischemic attacks and atrial fibrillation. Um, all right, so I'll give you guys about 10 seconds again. All righty, pause the video if you would like a little more time. Okay, the answer is clopidogrel. So clopidogrel inhibits platelets from binding together and forming clots, thus it's an antiplatelet agent. Um, it decreases the risk of a stroke and a heart attack, so that's why it's indicated for people who have TIAs that are at risk for stroke and that are at risk for um, those clots lodging and causing a stroke. So they can take this medication to inhibit the platelets and inhibit the clots from forming altogether. And then additionally in those patients who have atrial fibrillation, in atrial fibrillation the heart is those clots can form because the heart is not pumping as effectively, so it can also be prescribed to inhibit platelets from forming clots in those situations as well. Alrighty, the fourth medication here, hydrochlorothiazide. We know it's a thiazide diuretic, and we know it's indicated for the management of mild hypertension. Alrighty, 10 seconds here to select your answer. the video if you would like more time. So this medication is give 25 milligrams by mouth every morning. 
So the emphasis here is really diuretics are most often prescribed in the morning. If you're if patients are going home on diuretics, you advise them to take them in the morning just so that w- they're not up all night going to the bathroom. That's the big thing on that. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to go through each medication. Feel free to make note cards or start a document with these medications that are um, good to know as a nurse and good to know for the next generation NCLEX. Alrighty, so ropinirol, we talked about how it's a dopamine agonist, meaning it increases dopamine in the brain. It helps manage Parkinson's disease by decreasing tremors and decreasing the rigidity. A common side effect is orthostatic hypotension and dizziness. And a severe side effect is sleep attacks where the person will simply fall asleep abruptly. So caution when driving until the patients under or know how they react to the medication. And then an, just something to know, another common dopamine agonist for treating Parkinson's disease is levodopa or carb- carbidopa. So that's maybe one that you have heard of more, is uh, typically a little bit more common. Alrighty, paroxetine. We talked about how it's a SSRI or a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It helps with depression, anxiety, PTSD, and panic attacks. Severe side effects include serotonin syndrome, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, and Steven Johnson syndrome. I will be covering those severe side effects in another video, so um, subscribe if you would like to be notified when that comes out. And then patients must not be on an MAOI if they're taking an SSRI. So we talked about that a little bit as well. Alrighty, clopidogrel is an antiplatelet agent. So it inhibits platelets from binding together and forming those clots. It decreases the risk of stroke and heart attack. And a severe side effect from this medication is bleeding. So advise patients to monitor for black, bloody stools, any blood in the urine, which is called hematuria. And the bloody stools are called melina um, and then excessive bruising if they're really getting if they're getting pinpoint bruising like petechiae things like that to notify the provider Alrighty, and then hydrochlorothiazide is a thiazide diuretic so it increases the excretion of sodium and water kind of bringing you guys back to the RAS system um, and then it treats hypertension and edema right by getting rid of that excess water one severe side effect is, again, Steven Johnson syndrome, which is like a severe skin rash. Like I said, I'll be linking a video um, about these side effects, so subscribe if you'd like to hear more. And then one side effect is hypokalemia, so it's potas- potassium wasting, um, so something definitely to advise patients of. Sometimes they're also prescribed potassium supplements when they are discharged on these medications to help kind of combat any hypokalemia. Alrighty, so here's the final table. We had ropinirol, paroxetine, clopidogrel, and hydrochlorothiazide. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, I will be posting more like this, um, these kind of critical thinking questions that will help you on the next generation NCLEX, really develop those criti- critical thinking skills. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.